and welcome back to Wine Night with Wynette. I am Jay Wynette, the best friend that everyone deserves. And this week, I am trying Menage a Trois Silk Soft Red Blend. And I absolutely am so excited to bring this red wine to you all. This is literally my favorite, like hands down, no contender. Um, favorite 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 red wine and i'm so excited to be bringing this red wine to you all because i told you all i would definitely be introducing you all to some great 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 red wines and this red wine right here just takes the cake um yeah it's great <laughs> and i have to shout out and thank my good friend derek for introducing me to this wine he bought this wine for me for my birthday last year and derek i'm so so sorry that i'm doing this video without you guys i was supposed to do this video with derek um because i always want to try to do videos with my friends especially when they introduce me to certain wines and drinks and different things however we have been snowed in literally for almost five days now and i have to get my content out i'm so sorry derek i love you so much and i promise we're gonna do another video together real real soon but i have to go ahead and drop this video this specific one i have seen a variety of prices i unfortunately have paid the highest price that i've seen it when i bought this bottle just because i'm a one-stop shopper kind of person i hate going to different stores to get different things um so when i was at the store i bought my um bottles from they had it for $13.99 and i have seen it as low as $10.99 $9.99 and the lower prices where i saw this particular bottle were in target so if you have a target near you that sells alcohol um i would probably get it from target because that is literally where i have seen it the cheapest literally ten dollars you know give or take a few cents um and as i said the highest i've seen it is fourteen dollars which which is what i paid for it so let's get into the facts about the bottle because i'm so excited to drink it <laughs> i cannot wait to drink this wine so let's get it started so menage a trois silk okay the soft red blend lose yourself in the sensual pleasures of silk let the exotic fragrance arouse your senses while succulent cherry and ripe raspberry flavors softly caress your palate oftentimes with the softer red blends in any um brand they're going to be smooth 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 and I know I prefer a smoother red wine. I hate tart wine and I hate a red wine that's gonna just be too crisp almost um, to, to swallow. And I'm getting there. <laughs> and that those are gonna be the, the higher end, the well-aged bottles of red wine. Um, but I do prefer, you know, the softer red blends at, in my journey to explore and enjoy red wines. By the name of the company, you can already tell it's gonna, I, I feel, I don't know if that's what they, you know, pride themselves on, but this is a wine that you can drink with your man, drink with your lady, um, whoever, whatever and get a little little lit because it is 13.5 percent it's so smooth it tastes so good um and yeah <laughs> when we think of a menage a trois those are three things combining into one act okay and so in this menage a trois it is Pinot Noir, Malbec, and Petite Syrah um, combined together. And it combines to create this smooth, luxury, silky taste as you swallow and you enjoy this wine. It just glides gracefully down your palate, okay? Just smooth, and that's how it makes you feel. They use, you know, words to describe it like it's lavish, it's luxurious, it's expensive to taste, and that's exactly how I, you know, those are some things I could say about it as well. Like, I really enjoy the taste of it. This is a great red wine. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with the drinking, because yes. My mom gave me an electric bottle opener for Christmas and it's my favorite thing in the whole wide world right now when it comes to wine because it makes my life so much easier especially you guys know i had so many problems with opening wine okay i have 
so many problems with opening wine bottles regular corkscrews so it's great and it has a cutter to get the paper off the bottles before you pull it off so that's great as well so i'm not at my table like i normally am um but we're gonna get it together either way let's sit this right here for a quick second so i can open it with my plastic cutter here and if you never use the little um, paper cutter you just kind of squeeze it around the bottle and see you kind of cut it open pull it off so this wine bottle opener is just so cool. You're just gonna, hold on, let me hold the bottle, use my good hand. And you place it over there and just press the down button and it comes down on the bottle. Oh, can y'all see that? Look at that. Boom. Look how simple that was. That's just so great. Hmm. All right, we're gonna pour. And you guys, literally, it comes out the most perfect colored red wine I have ever seen before. Um, it's so smooth. It, it pours smooth. It just has such, everything about it is just smooth. Like, smooth. Smooth. That's it. Everything about it is smooth. Here we are. I'm a little biased, I don't care, but I'm, I'm putting you on to it, so I'm gonna go through it like I normally would any other wine. Um, and of course, I'm gonna make sure you swirl it around, we're gonna lift those aromas up. Smell. It smells fruity, it's a fruitier red wine, so, but it's not too fruity, it's not like last week with the super fruit, you know, it's not like that, but it is, you can definitely pick up on those fruit notes that they mentioned. You can definitely pick up on the cherry and the raspberry that they mentioned, you know, just by lifting those aromas up. Without further ado, here we are. So it goes down, you guys, literally like water. It is so smooth. I keep saying that, but just think smooth when you when you drink this. Think smooth. Now the taste, it is still a red wine. It is one of those red wines that is on the other side of the transitioning. So it's right at the beginning stages of red wines. Okay. And it's gonna be not as like I said, it's not gonna be as fruity as you know a lot of other red wines. If you're a white wine drinker. This is not something that I would just lead with, but it is a great, 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 great red wine. And if you just want to jump, jump, if you want to just jump on out there and try red wine um, without, you know, really transitioning your palate to enjoy red wines, this is a great red wine. Just jump out there, get your feet wet, try it out, you know, and if you don't like it right away, come back to it. This is one of the red wines that should be a staple in everyone's liquor cabinet, should be a staple in everyone's wine um collection because it is a phenomenal phenomenal red wine it's definitely still mature you know so it's an acquired taste it's not gonna be fruity that's just really the only it's not it's not sweet you know it's not super sweet at all it's truly like the fruit in it is fruit forward it's not the sweetness it's not the you know ripeness of the fruit it is purely notes of that fruit that they mentioned that the cherries and if you if you eat cherries you know sometimes cherries can be a tad bit bitter but there's still you know and a hint of sweetness to it like that's kind of what the feel i get from it it's super super smooth um you know i don't recommend drinking anything room temperature but i guess it is a wine that you could enjoy room temperature i always drink everything chill my bottle is actually like cold <laughs> So it is like super, super, super smooth. The more, you know, chilled it is, the easier it is for wine to kind of go down. Um, and so it's super smooth. You don't have any, like, none of that. Straight down. Go ahead and get you some. As far as my rating goes, it should be, you know, without doubt, I'm giving it a 10 out of 10 wine stars. This is literally my favorite red wine that I enjoy to drink. Um, so, of course, it's going to get a 10. This is the type of wine that's really going to get you lit. It's going to take you where you need to be. I have zero complaints about this wine. Never can say anything bad about this wine. Actually, 
I absolutely love this wine. And like I said, it is one of those red wines that's going to be into the other side of transition. So this is like the sweet wines is our transitions. This is, you know, red wines and how red wines are those mature wines. It's right here, the beginning of the mature wines, okay? Um, it's not too far out there where you can't enjoy it, but it's definitely going to be an enjoyable, drinkable sipper. And like I said, get this with your mate, you know what I'm saying? So y'all could be, you know, one, two, three together because... <laughs> It's going to get you there. It's going to get you there. I'm not lying to you. It's going to get you there. That's really all I have for you guys today. And I really, really hope that you guys are actually going out there and you're actually trying these red wines or trying red wines in general because we are expanding our palette, you guys. We are moving on to the next phase of wines. We are going to be able to really enjoy these wines. I'm going to be bringing a variety of wines in the future. So I want you all to be able to keep up with the wines that I'm introducing. Be able to to truly enjoy these wines you know on a different level when you go out to eat you don't have to always just get a cocktail you should be able to go out to eat pick you a wine that's going to go well with your meals and not be unfamiliar with the names and the and the, and the types of wines that's on the wine menu you know what i'm saying have your glass of wine with your meal start drinking wine with your meal so you can really start to see how these wines are complementing your food wine is the type of alcohol that you're supposed to enjoy really with meals it's supposed to be you know a complement to the things that you're also putting into your mouth as well as just the wine you know that's why they have wine and cheese platters and things of that nature get yourself out there don't just drink wine like it's liquor let's start doing wine how wine's supposed to be done I am Jay Wynette, the best friend that everyone deserves. I love you guys so much. Thank you all so much for the support. Continue support, the new support. Make sure you all subscribe to my channel. Please like this video and turn your post notifications on because like I said, I have so much great content coming for you. And I will see you guys next week.